Hi everybody, this is Deb. I am uh, just doing a quick video for step five um, of this section about the um, kind, calm guide to onboarding. And so the last step we're just talking about going beyond the invitation, um, trying to really more think about how you could connect with members better, um, making sure you're following up, reaching out to connect with the members and then creating some feelings of inclusive inclusivity um, getting to know your members better creating content that that they will want and enjoy and uh, read and then getting more thoughts from community members and so I kind of broke this up into there's some links here to check out different articles about um, how do you create inclusivity um, how do you get to know your, your members a little bit better uh, creating content, and then um, here's another article about thoughts. Uh, most importantly, I just created these templates um, for different aspects of your community building process. So there's a, a template here for um, creating your welcome post. We discussed in earlier sections around why it's really important to have a welcome post just to have people know who you're bringing to get together, why they're coming in this place together, and then you can also customize this and add different um, features and, and talk about what's really unique about your space. So I gave you some suggestions in this template. So you can check that out. Um, the Our Purpose template, it also talks about like our values um, or our purpose. And that just helps explain to people um, what this space is really for. And then there's some notes here about creating a, a tribe. So they're feeling like, I can really relate to these people and I really want to connect to them and stay in this community. And then there's some concepts and questions here around um, values and the community culture. And that really just goes to like establishing this is a safe space. Here's what we talk about. Here's what's acceptable. Here's what's not. It's kind of like a code of conduct slash here's what we do and here's what's really important. So those are um, some resources. There's a um, template here, and I have a link to an article about a culture guide, as well as some other articles that explain the difference between features and benefits. And so that when you when you explain to people um, in your either welcome or big or your purpose post about what you're actually you know what they get as far as what what the features are. And that's something that your product has or is. So if your product, your service is, or what you offer, the benefits are the outcomes. So um, how they're going to feel after they work with you in this course or in this community or what, what they can uh, experience. Um, it's why they joined and they, you just remind them of that. Um, and then kind of highlighting that the community needs them because it's not a community unless there's people there. So um, that's those are those two templates. And then the other is um, more strategic. So a welcome event is what the strategy I suggested as far as onboarding to invite people to an event where you welcome them into a, like from a welcome party. And there's some checklists here of some things to do before this welcome party. During the welcome party, here's an invitation sample, and then uh, maybe some event planning for the event, and then there's um, some outline examples for um, what you'd want to have throughout the event. Like you'd want to make sure you have um, the event open in the virtual space. You give them a couple of minutes to arrive, making sure you're welcoming the members in. Uh, introducing yourself as the host and then sharing the big purpose for the community to let them know what the, what, it, what this space is all about and then asking them to introduce themselves and share why they're excited to be there that would be really fun as well as um, you know if you have a handful of people hopefully you could put them into some breakout rooms so they can really deeper dive connect. You could give them a prompting question that they're going to discuss. Maybe it's just as simple as what brought you to this community. And those people can uh, talk about that in the breakout sessions and then come back and have some um, really great sharing in the main um, group on your event. So that's a fun thing. There's also some icebreaker games that I suggested an article as well as um, asking members, like making sure they've gotten into the portal, 
They know how to use the app. They, you know, just asking any questions about navigation. And then any other questions about the live calls that you have scheduled or um, how they can connect and contact you if there's questions after the call. So just identifying those things to get clarity for yourself as well as for the members. And then post-event, just um, connecting with anybody who couldn't attend the event, setting up the recording, and uh, following up with them to make sure that all their questions are addressed during this workshop, um, as well as giving them a kind of a steps on what is next coming um, if there's another event coming up and, and how they can get in touch with you. So those are that's the other worksheet. And then I have the last one here is an FAQ. And so frequently asked questions section, maybe creating a post. I just did this in the Find Calm Here community today after I put this together. And so here's my example below. I have some um, items on a checklist there for you as guidance and directions to build your own customized FAQ page or post. Um, my thoughts were just like, where do you start? And then telling them, guiding them on where they should start. Um, maybe there's specific things to like um, to direct them to. Like for example, for my community is Money Network Hosts. And so if they need help setting up their network, where can they start? Um, and I say about starting in the column guide to launching your money network. And there's a link that takes them right there. As well as like um, maybe they're going to ask about one-on-one -on -one support. Maybe they're not finding what they need in the community. And so they actually want to work with me one-on-one. -on -one, and then they can contact me via email for that. As well as um, if there's recordings and I share with them where the recordings are going to be for any of the live sessions if they can't attend. Um, I also answer the question about onboarding members because that's another calm guide that I have now available, which is the one we're in now. Um, there will be more calm guides, so I could probably add to this later and um, include additional guides as they are released. Um, some people want to be on the podcast, so I put a section in there about, um, yeah, you could be on the podcast, and here's the link to schedule an interview. So all li linking this together so that they have a direct, here's where I go. That's just really helpful um, in general. So if there's any questions, um, this is wrapping it up at the end of section one for, for creating your onboarding plan. We've reviewed what onboarding is, um, selecting your onboarding method, identifying your process, um, creating your unique onboarding plan. And then the step was just kind of going beyond the invitation, getting down and, and understanding about maybe more deeper um, connections and how you can create meaningful relationships within your community. And then there is a replay of the um, session that I did with the Mighty Mastermind um, session last week, which would have been um, in July here. And so uh, that is the recording of our July Mastermind. What I'm going to do, what I decided to do going forward is for the next two months, um, we will go over the next two sections in the Mighty Mastermind. So if you're watching this uh, in July of 2021, I am going to have the next uh, section up for our Mighty Masterminds in August. So it's the second Friday of each month. And that section is um, connect to your members and spark um, spark engagement. And we're going to talk about um, cultivating your community garden creating a safe space, getting social, creating belonging, and then reviewing your commitment curve and QED life cycle. So we're going to discuss that in section two coming up. Um, I will have a live uh, Q&A and workshop about this within the Mighty Mastermind. So if you're not a member of the Mighty Mastermind, you can join that as a member of the Find Calm Here community. And with that, I will end it for, there, for, for this section. Hopefully you've had uh, a good idea and, and read some resources. If there's something that's missing, please use the, um, the share your thoughts down here and let me know if there's questions or comments that you have about each of these sections so that I can update and address anything. Uh, thank you for your time. Have a great day.